Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm in my new place and I'm trying not to show you guys too much of the um, background because I'm going to do a house tour video but um, and that's going to be a little bit later after I get more furniture. Right now I just have my couches and my kitchen table, I mean my um, my couches and my coffee tables and stuff like that but um, I'm waiting to get my kitchen table and my bedroom set and so I can show you guys my um, house tour so yeah my bathroom is decked out already and I'm so excited I cannot wait to show you guys but you know I have to just I have to do a video I have to do one because I'm getting anxious so I have to do a video so um, I'm going to show you guys my perfume collection um, I said that I will show you guys my perfume collection, I think, in a last video. And I said I'm going to show you guys one when I move because um, it'd be easier to show you guys how I, organi I, how I organize my perfumes and my fragrances and my lotions and stuff like that. So um, if you guys are interested to see, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys are interested to see my perfume collection, then just keep on watching. Okay, so here's my perfumes and my body sprays and my lotions. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start up here. Okay, so my lotions, I have this um, Carol's Daughter, uh, you can see their logo right there. It's their sugar dipped vanilla body cream. Um, it has vitamin E, coconut, and sunflower seed oils. It's very moisturizing. I'm not going to talk about these lotions too much. I'm going to just, I mean, these items too much. I'm going to just show them because I have a lot of things to show. I also have, um, some sunscreen of, um, 100 SPF. I have, um, Japanese Cherry Blossom by Bath & Body Works. I also have um, Give a Little Pink Body Lotion, and I bought this from Bath & Body Works, but it's by Victoria's Secret, and it's their Snowy, Van Snowy Violet and Apple Blossom Smell. I also have a green one, and this one's called Mary Mary Pink Body Lotion, and the smell Winter Berry and Magnolia. I also have another Bath & Body Works. Secret Wonderland, and this is their Triple Moisture Body Cream by their Signature Collection. I also have um, this Molten Brown London Sensual um, Body Sat in a Satinizer, I think. Um, it goes on watery, but it makes your skin really, really soft. And I think I got this from Ulta like a long time ago. And it was 25 bucks, but of course I didn't pay that for it. It was on sale. Um, I have Twilight Woods. So I was obsessed with this fragrance when it came out. But the thing was, for Christmas, my boyfriend, well, my husband, well, my boyfriend at the time when we were just dating, he got me this. And then my dad got me this as well. So I had a ton of Twilight Woods. Um, then I have Body Lotion by The Gap. It's their moisturizing formula. Number 665. And, um, it's, it's like a, a plain scent and it's just, it's very moisturizing. I mainly got this for my husband because it doesn't have any fragrance in it. Okay, and then I have this Gucci Guilty, um, body lotion. And, uh, it came with the set. And then I have this, uh, the oil that goes with it as well. I have a um, knockoff of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It's called Capri Breeze, and it's their fragrant body spray from Walmart. It's er, um, it's about three bucks, and it smells just like the real thing. And I also have the real one as well. Oop, this was just originally for my car because I like to smell spray perfumes and stuff in my car, but I don't like to use my expensive stuff, so I bought this. Um, I love the Sea Island Cotton Body Spray by um, Bath & Body Works. It's just so uh, fresh and it smells like clean linen. Um, this one is, I think, Brown Sugar. Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath & Body Works. It's their little um, personal size. Um, I have Snowsuit. And this is by Philosophy. Uh, Make it a snow day, it says. Um, I feel like this smells like, um, like cleaner. Like, but, like, house cleaner. Like, 
detergents and stuff. Um, that's why I don't use it. I got it from the thrift store. So if you guys have smelled this before, if, is that what it's supposed to smell like? Or does it just smell like that just to smell like it? Because, uh, yeah. I'm not going to be using that until I know if that's what it's supposed to smell like. Um, and then I have Very Sexy um, by Victoria's Secret. This was this is the alcohol infused one. I wish I would have waited a week later. And then they came out with the oil infused one. And of course the oil one, the oil base lasts longer. Um, and then I have, uh, let's see, another knockoff of Ed Hardy, Christian Adigier, um, the Love Our Ink. You'd love our inked fragrant body spray. Um, and this, I don't know what this one's supposed to be a knockoff of, but, um, it smells okay. That one is for my car as well. And then my husband bought me the, uh, Twilight Woods. I think it's my husband or my dad. One of the two. The Twilight Woods, um, Sensual Shimmer Body Mist. And it has shimmers in it. it smells really, really good. Okay, so that's the top row. As for the bottom row, I have this knockoff um, Ed Hardy Ladies Body Oil. Um, I have Jessica Simpson and Fancy. Love, love, love the smell. Um, I need to get a new one because I'm almost out. And it's like one of my favorites. Okay, um, I have the bigger size, the biggest one of the Gucci Guilty. I think this is the biggest one. What fluid ounce is this? The 75 milliliter. 2.5 fluid ounce. I think this is one of the biggest ones. Or I think they probably have 3.2. But this is probably one of the biggest ones. And you can see me in the uh, bottle. Anyways. Love that. Um, my mother-in-law got me this Wish of Luck perfume. And it's like a green color. By um, It's from Avon. And it smells really, really good. I'm almost out. And then I have the Real Gucci. I mean, <laughs> Gucci. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Love, love, love this smell. Very clean and fresh. And then I have this one by Roxy. I got this from TJ Maxx. Um, it's just a nice springy, like, fresh smell for, like, the summer. You would definitely want to wear this in the summer, not winter. And then my mother-in-law gave me this Ralph Lauren Polo Sport spray. Um, it smells okay. You have to spray it and then wear it for a little bit. And then when it soaks in, then you get used to it. But just spraying it, it doesn't smell too good. So you have to wear that for a while to get used to the smell. Um, and then I have this Halle Berry. This is the, uh, the yellow one. Well, the, not the yellow, the brown one. I love this smell. It smell, it, I love this one and Fancy. They kind of smell a little bit similar. But, um, this one is nice and warm and I need to get a new one. Okay, so I have my perfumes and my body sprays separate from another. Just like my body sprays and like the knockoff stuff is up there. And then my perfumes and my body sprays are over here. Okay, so my most used things are down here. And then things I really don't use are up here. Okay, so then I have Love Spell by Victoria's Secret. I'm sure all of you guys have smelled this one. They also have a knockoff of this at Walmart and it smells just like it. I used it in my car. I have bought it one time for my car and everybody thought it was the real thing. Um, this is Wild Scarlet. Not too, um, I'm not really too fond of this smell. I got it for really cheap. That's why I bought it. And you can tell I barely use this, so not too fond of that. It's, it's okay, though. Um, this one is also by Bath & Body Works last year, I think, in the summer. It's their Berry Summer Vanilla smell. And it looks like that. And this smells really, really good. I barely used it because it's for the summer. Well, not for the summer, but it smells better, like, in summertime. So, I'm waiting for that. Okay, so this is a Bath & Body Works smell. Fragrant. This was, like, I have this since I was, like, a freshman, I think, a long time ago. And, um, this just brings back so many memories. It has, like, little, I don't know if you guys can see. It has, like, little squares and stuff in it. And it makes noise because it has those little things in it. And I love it. Every time I, I wear it, it brings back memories. So, um, I really don't use this much because I just love it so much. And I just want to kind of hold on to the old good times. And it's um, called Island Coconut. And this was like when I first started wearing perfumes and stuff. And then we have another old one uh, by Bath & Body Works. It's the... Freshka, I think, Freshka, uh, body splash, body splash with moisturizing aloe vera. Uh, this smells pretty good. It's just like nice and fresh, like 
mm, I don't know. Can't really describe it. Um, it smells pretty good though. And then another one I have is a Dark Kiss. And um, I think this was a gift. I don't think I bought this one. I think this was a gift. I forgot from whom. Probably my husband bought it for me. I don't remember. But uh, it smells pretty good. It's really, really strong though. So this reminds me of my friend Patricia. She always used to come to work smelling like this. So whenever I wear it, I, I, it reminds me of her. So yeah, this one's Dark Kiss. And it smells pretty good. And this was also by Bath & Body. And then last but not least, the Chloe ones. Um, I forgot. I think the little one is Love Chloe. And then this one's the regular Chloe one. I forgot. But um, this is the little sample size. Um, I really recommend if you guys like want to like, you know, try out a perfume before you buy it. I really suggest you get these things because I was really obsessed with um, smelling them at Sephora and then um, I'd wear them, like I'd try it on that day at Sephora and then I finally bought it and then when I bought it I really didn't love it that much so I'm glad I just bought a sample. Um, I think I like this one more, I forgot. I don't know, I guess it varies by the day because one day I'll like this one more and the next day I'll like this one more. So it kind of varies by the day. And this was, I think it was only $12. Yeah, I think this was only $12 bucks, um, on sale. So it was a really good deal for these two little guys. Um, yeah, so I really recommend you guys getting little samples if you're not quite sure on if you want to spend quite a few dollars. <laughs> well, a pretty penny on some expensive perfume. So yeah guys that completes my perfume and my fragrance and lotion haul I mean not haul um <laughs> collection um I had more lotions but when you move you lose a lot of stuff so plus some of them are off in my car and just for time's sake I'll show my husband's cologne that I love I love this one by Ralph Lauren um I forgot which scent this is this one is Polo Ralph Lauren Blue and this is the second bottle of it, and he's already half through, but he's had it for a while, so, yeah, guys. So that completes my perfume and fragrance and lotion, body lotion collection. Um, I had way more, but, um, they get, they got lost, like, they're probably, like, in my purses that I don't use and stuff like that, like, in my car as well, because I had a lot more, um, lotions and stuff, but, yeah, guys, um, mm, my scalp is itching. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think about it. And um, I cannot wait to show you guys my place and how we decorated because I'm so proud of what I've decorated and what we've done to the place. So I um, guess I'll show you guys like a little lunch check. I've, it's not as straight as it was before, but um. um can you see? you can see in that mirror. <laughs> so yeah guys, that's all me. I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get... I'm... I'm past armpit length now. I'm pretty much down to bra strap almost. My bra strap is right here. And my hair is right here. So I'm about like a half inch away or an inch away from bra strap length. And um, I'm working on getting it down to here. So <laughs> I have a ways to go. I know I have a ways to go, but my journey is not nearly over yet. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and you guys will see me soon. Bye.